Do you have a game plan for your financial future? Let me help you develop and execute a successful investment plan. Email me at earl.jessamine at td.com. John Moore reporting for sportsandmore.com, joined by Bailey Peach, the Newbridge Academy Player of the Week. Congratulations, uh, Bailey. Tell me, tell me about your season. Uh, yeah, it's going pretty good. Um, my first year band, I'm coming into there. I mean, coming out of Pee Wee, it's been a hard change coming into Major Band because the hitting and the speed is a lot different. You continue to show off the offensive touch. You're second in team scoring you're in your first year here. Tell me a little bit about the, the offensive productions from the, that perspective. Oh, yeah, I think I can truck the puck down low, move it when I need to. Uh, I'm on with great line mates right now. Um, putting the puck in the net a lot, as you can see. Bailey is a really uh, offensively dynamic player. Uh, just has a really good skill set on the offensive side of the puck. He's a real competitor. Uh, and I think one of the things that Bailey's learning to do is learning to adjust to that Bantam level. Uh, he's playing Major Bantam as a first year this year and, and had a really good career in Pee Wee, but it's a, every level is a big jump. I think it took him a little bit uh, a little bit of time to get going this year, but it's really starting to hit full stride for their team at the right moment. It's an adjustment when you get to a, a, the next level. Uh, certainly going from Pee Wee Triple to Major Bantam is, is probably a step and a half where you're going from you know, your, your more normal minor hockey situation to a provincial-based league. Off the ice. Uh... The, the challenge of balancing the hockey, uh, obviously a lot of time spent uh, on the ice working at that, but uh, tell me about the, the responsibility with the academic. Uh, yeah, you got to get your work done in class, or if I don't get my work done, I have to do it at home, and then I'm right out to East Hands for the practices out there. How hard have you had to work at that side of it? Good, you got to be focused every time you come to class, and um, just got to work hard every time you're in the classroom. Bailey is one of those kids. He just has a nose for the net, and, and I think it's certainly a part of his makeup, uh, but it's certainly something that he works on a lot too. Uh, you know, even here at school, just trying to work on speeding up his release and shortening his release and different things like that that you can do with players his age. Uh, he's receptive to those ideas, and, you know, we have conversations and drills and stuff about what he's trying to work on. And uh, in the day and age we live in now for hockey, the goaltending gets a lot of instruction in terms of what the shooters are doing. The opposite doesn't happen very much, and that's one of the things we try to tap into is allowing the shooters to understand what the goalies are doing and understand how to counteract that, and whether it's get the goalies to move laterally or what they tend to do in certain positions where the puck's below the goal line or above the goal line or coming off the wing and just try to educate them to, to, to have the ability to know what the goalie's going to be doing so they can develop things to counteract that. As a player, I mean, he's a really high skill set, real offensive sniper and, and can really has a knack for scoring. The next year would be your, your second year and uh, I guess at that point you'd be looked upon even more of a leadership role. Oh yeah, I'm kind of looking for an A or a C next year. Leading the team in points, I'm going to try to do that and just going to try to successfully lead the team next year. Congratulations on being Newbridge Academy Player of the Week. Thanks, John.